I am at Aguata Health Center 3. This is the state in, in which their ambulance is in. And this, of course, this particular facility has a, a maternity ward. It has, um, it has a children's ward and uh, it has a capacity of roughly about 80 or so patients that stay around or that receive their services at the facility per week. And this is the status in which it is in. It is important, it is important for the area leaders, including the, 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 the owners, who are the community, including uh, faith-based institutions, the cultural leaders, to come to the facilities rescue. There are ambulances in such a state, so these particular persons cannot afford to handle any, any matter of emergency because this is how grounded their ambulance is. Unless we come to their rescue unless we take up initiatives like this to help communities like these ones, we are not doing any better. People who are in Kampala, people who enjoy pork every other day, drink beer every other day, it is important for you to save a little money and come to the rescue, to uh, rather to come to the rescue and contribute an ambulances. Look at a scenario for you being a young philanthropist and you are helping communities do the right thing. It is important, we had better come up, we should stand on the right side of our generation and then take up initiatives like this for the betterment of our country, but also our fellow citizens. It's, it doesn't take you so much to just save a little 10,000 or sacrifice a little 100,000 and then support people like this. Imagine this was funded by donors, non-Ugandans. So if we, if we came in, if we stepped in, you would save a little more lives. Let us, let us save, let us save lives, let us carry on initiatives like this. We can never do anything as important as this. You look at that is their fuel tank. You see, there is a stone in there. It has been grounded for such a long time. So please um, take up the mantle, rescue your fellow citizens. You would have done the best you can ever do. I say all this for God and my country.